Hi, this is Larry. And this is Katie. And we belong to a CSA, which means that every week we get a bag of fresh produce. And this summer, we're going to make something every week and share it with you, fresh from Spring Hill. Some years ago, I had the chance to do some teaching in Russia. For a week, I ate all my meals from the kitchen at Arzimus Public School No. 13. I ate beets in a lot of different ways that week. Red is an important color in Russian culture. The word for red is krasny. The word for beautiful is krasivi. And the word for excellent is prikrasny. So the beet is seen as something of a magical vegetable in Russia. Today, with the weather turning cold, I'm thinking of Russia and beets, and we're going to make, hopefully, a red, beautiful, and excellent beet and leek soup flavored with thyme and served with sautéed beet greens. First, we'll slice up our leeks and a nice big clove of garlic. Then, after washing and peeling the beets, we'll cut them up into smaller pieces. Now, I'll get a pot hot on the stove and put in some olive oil and throw in the leeks and the garlic and let those start to soften up a little bit. At this time, I'm also going to throw in some caraway seed and strip a few sprigs of thyme into the mixture. When the leeks and the garlic are nice and soft, we'll add in our beets. And then we'll cover everything with water. And then we'll cover this up and let it simmer until the beets are tender. When the beets have had a chance to simmer for a while, you can add some salt. Let's just see how soft these beets are getting. Oh, they're feeling pretty tender. So I'm going to turn down the heat and we're going to puree the whole thing. When you've pureed it, you'll want to taste it mm. and adjust the seasoning. At the end, I'll add some ground pepper and I like a little drizzle of red wine vinegar. To garnish the soup, we're going to use some sauteed beet greens. So I'll get a pan hot here and put in a little olive oil. And I managed to save half a shallot from last week's bag, so we're going to get those frying up here. We want the shallots to get some good color, and once they do, we'll throw in our chopped beet greens. And we'll just quickly wilt these and throw on a little salt and pepper. Okay, we're going to plate this up now. We've got our soup, and then we'll just place a nice pile of greens in there. And we'll also put in a spoon of yogurt. You could use sour cream or creme fraiche as well. And that's our soup. So here we have beet and leek soup with a sautéed beet green garnish. Nazdrovia. Nazdrovia.